Before beginning your skill, always make sure that you wash your hands. The next set of skills is temperature, pulse, and respirations, and taking a blood pressure. The supplies that you'll need are an electronic thermometer, a temperature sheath, a manual blood pressure cuff, stethoscope, alcohol, and cotton balls. Hi Beth, my name's Mari. I'm going to be your aide today. How are you? I'm good. I'm here to check your vital signs, okay? Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is raise the bed up to a good working level for me. I'm going to raise the head of the bed. First, I'm going to check your temperature. I'm going to clean the thermometer with a small amount of alcohol in a cotton ball. The thermometer goes in the plastic sheath between the two plastic pieces. I'm going to turn the thermometer on and wait for it to say it's ready. The thermometer goes under the tongue and in the back of the mouth. All right, your temperature is 98.6, Beth. I'll take the thermometer sheath off and place it in the trash can. The next thing I'm going to do is check your pulse and respirations. I'm going to use the first three fingers on my left hand and I'm going to hold her wrist so that I can feel where the pulse is. All right, your pulse is 82 and your respiratory rate is 20, Beth. I did not tell you that I was checking your respiratory rate because I didn't want you to change the way you were breathing for me. Oh. All right, the next thing that I'm going to do is obtain your blood pressure. I'm going to place the blood pressure cuff above the crease in the arm with the marking over the inside part of the arm. I want to make sure that this blood pressure cuff is snug and secure. I'm going to use the stethoscope and the first thing I want to do is clean the earpieces with an alcohol wipe and the head of the stethoscope. The stethoscope is placed on the inner part of the arm along the crease so that it's over the artery. I'm going to pump the blood pressure cuff up to approximately 180 millimeters of mercury and listen carefully. I slowly release the air from the blood pressure cuff. listening for the thudding sound. One thirty eight over eighty four, Beth. I'll remove the blood pressure cuff from her arm and set it aside. Before using the stethoscope, it's always a good idea to make sure that the earpieces are pointed toward, forward toward your nose and that you check to make sure that the head of the stethoscope is on the right side. Now I will clean up the rest of my supplies and make sure that I've repositioned Beth for comfort. The head of the bed should be at 30 degrees. The side rails will be up if they're ordered. Returning the bed to the low position and making sure that Beth has her call light in reach. Are you comfortable, Beth? I am. All right, thank you. Thank you. At the end of the skill, record and report.